Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the St. John Missionary Baptist Church of Gastonia, North Carolina. We are the very kind pastors, Dr. Dario Jackson. At this time, we are getting ready for our praise and worship on this morning. I want to ask everyone if you'll stand with us as we lift up the name of Jesus and praise the song. Amen. Amen. I love 
forget that name of Jesus. I wish that had a witness. There is healing in the name of Jesus. So much healing in the name of Jesus. I love, I love, yes I do. In the name of Jesus. no matter what nobody else says. I love, yes I do. In the name of Jesus. There's salvation in the name
the chapter, beginning with the 17th verse, according to the King James, and it says here, and Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said unto them, get you up this way southward, and go up into the mountain, and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or weak, whether they be few or many, whether and what the land is they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, what cities they be that they dwell in, whether in tents or strongholds, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not, and be ye of good courage, and bring the fruit of the land. Now, uh, the time was the time of first ripe grapes. So they went up, searched the land from the wilderness of Zen to Rio, as men come to Hamath. The word of the Lord for the people seated as we bow our heads on this wonderful and beautiful day that the Lord has made somewhere in glory and said regardless of our circumstances we should rejoice and be glad in it recognizing that some folks are hospitalized recognizing that some folks are deceased Recognizing that things aren't going like somebody wants them to go. But God is God. Somebody says this high and looks low. And Lord, we just came today to say thank you. Thank you for being God. Thank you for sitting on the throne. Thank you for your son on your right hand. Thank you. We're just glad to be here. We came to worship today, but we recognize and we realize that we have no power in ourselves. And all power is in your hand. So Lord, if you touch us with the anointing today, we can lift your name. If you touch us with the glory today, we'll praise you. If you touch us, hallelujah, with power from on high, hallelujah, we'll lift you up. We'll magnify you in the name of Jesus. Touch the pastor. Touch his mind, touch his heart, touch his lips that they might articulate your praises. Not only your praises, but to praise you in the way that you would. Put the words in his mouth, put the ideas in his head, in the name of Jesus. Lord, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. We'll continue to give you praise. We'll continue to lift your name.
And it, it, it's, a, it's a short, very short statement, but making a lot of sense. Doesn't have a whole lot of frills behind it. Not a whole lot of embellishments behind it or accolades behind it. It's making it short and sweet. In other words, it is what it is. If any of you all ever tried to sell a car, and, and you know it ain't hitting on a whole lot, and you know it got some hidden agenda somewhere, and you put a sign on the car, buy as it is. In other words, don't come to me tomorrow if the transmission go out. Because you're going to buy it just like it is. In, in other words, there is a dark side to this simple phrase. Those who respond to it is what is, in generally, they have had some bad experiences out of life. And they're not really pleased with what's been coming up in their face. And what actually shows up, they are ready to retire, resign, quit, stop, because it is what it is. And we as Christians, we rejoice in the fact that we serve a God that can take the is <laughs> and make it better. Just because it is what it is, it doesn't have to be it is. If that's good English. <laughs> because God can turn all of that stuff around and make it a blessing for you. Am I right about that? Because God is able to do these things. He wants you to have a good time. He wants you to be well balanced. And he can take your, your wrongs, your rights, your ups and your downs and your ills and your problems, your sickness, and all of your troubles and turn them around to make a blessing out of it. In other words, in other words, when your troubles come, don't get delirious. When aggravation comes to you, don't, don't drop the ball. Because the God we serve can turn all of these things around and bring a blessing in. Right. Just because the phrase say it is what it is, it don't have to be. Right. Not with the God we serve. Because right. if you've got some determination, you can find it if you keep on pushing. Am I right about that? Well, when you women, you know how you are when you got to find a particular pair of shoes or a dress for a certain event. You get up early in the morning. You will search all day in all the stores, all the little cities around you, until you find what you want. Come on, y'all might want to talk to me say amen. Because, because my grandmother told me years ago, wherever there is a will, How many believe that? Yeah. Just because you tell me no, I don't mean I ain't going to stop that. Right. Because there's a will, there's a way. It is what it is. But looking at this, this text this moment, this text, this text is talking about 10 of the 12 spies that, that Moses had directed to go into the promised land. I want you to go in there and kind of check it out. Because Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan. And see, and you know, and look and see what's in there. We've heard about it. A land that's flowing with milk and honey. I want someone to go in there and spy it out and check it out. So when the twelve came back to Moses after they had spied it out, ten of them said, they got some good figs, pomegranates, big grapes. Said the land is wonderful. If we could get there, we would live a life of ease. 
But he put a junk shield in there. He said, but but uh, this land got some woolly looking people. Broad shoulders, tall and big, and they, they have a they have a they have a a, 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 a gate, a wall city that's around the whole city. And and, 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 and they have ammunition and they have weaponry that we don't have. In other words, Moses it is what it is. We 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 can't. We can't have it. We don't have what it takes to take over. This is what the ten say. The ten inspired the others with confidence that we, we, we just can't do. We don't have what it takes. And I want you to know that whatever battle you're going into, if you go in it just by yourself, you might not have what it takes. But whenever you go into a, any kind of battle, whether it's a, 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 a spiritual battle or whether it's, it's a physical battle or whatever kind of battle it may be, go into that battle with God on your side. Because when you got the Lord on your side, you got the majority with you. Come on, come on. Am I right about that? They came back and told Moses, Moses, wake up and smell the coffee. It is what it is. We don't have nothing to fight with. They got everything together. Nothing we can do. The report of the spies gave a factual summary of the land and its people. The land was all they had expected, and they brought back numerous items. A fruit from the land. But we slipped in and we slipped right on out. That's right. Moses, it is what it is. We can't have it. We can't do it. But now the first part of the report was positive. It filled the people with hope. It, it filled them with hope. In other words, so when he first talked about what's over there, the fruit, the pomegranate, how beautiful it was. They had some positive respect from it. But the people that occupied the land were warlike people. They were too big. They make us look like small grasshoppers. They, they, was, they was too big. We can't have them. Mm. You, you, you know how it is you, when, you, when, you, when you line up with big folk. Have you noticed? Let me take this. I'm on. I, I know I got a witness in the house today. I got a former police officer in the house today. But anyway, and, and I know he knows one of the worst fights you've been in was with a little fella. <laughs> the big ones don't give me no trouble. But them little ones try to prove this thing. <laughs> you want to walk up in him. <laughs> so. The land was flowing with milk and honey. And they had everything in their corner. But out of those 12 spies, two of them jumped up. They said, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can take it. That was Caleb and Joshua. They said, we can do this. We, 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 God has given, but when God, when God opens the door, yes. He opens the door for me to get a blessing. Yes. Don't be afraid to go in. Yes. Am I right about that? Yes. If He opened the door for you to get the blessing, walk on in and take it. Yes. But, 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 they say that we can do it. Let us go up right now and get it. But, however, the other ten were not confident. In fact, they were afraid. They convinced the people that facts are facts, reality are reality, and they should accept the fact that conquering this nation, this land, is not an option. In other words, the ten say it is what it is. We can't do it. 
They want you to know that that's why they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. That's right. That's right. Because they weren't willing to walk and take what they were supposed to take and do what thus saith the Lord. And many of us are like that today. God has blessings all around us. And all he wants us to do is just go out and pursue it. And that's what you make one step. He'll make the other step. But you gotta start it off. I don't care about if it is what it is, it don't have to be what it is. God can make that man change. Am I right about that? How many of us have grown up in, in rough places and and you look at us now and you say, well, you don't look like what you came from. Am I right about that? You do have any witnesses in the house. If someone look at us now, you, if you, the only running water we had in the house back then, you pulled on the floor and you run across. But if you go to my house now, but I have a hair that you your water runs like that. But, but God has brought us from a mighty long way. You, you know, uh, back then you 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 be in the house. I had to go to the bathroom, but you run out of the house. You go to the y'all not where they stuff now. Y'all I ain't got to go by myself. But but nowadays you gotta cut the grass. Then you use the bathroom, you run in the house to use the bathroom. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't God a blessing from a life of the way? Huh? Y'all might be saying that and saying the devil. We always think like that. God has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Now dealing with the what is despised, accepted, and inevitable that they would be wandering around in the wilderness not rooted to nothing, but only having a dream of a promised land, but it only was just a dream. They basically told Moses, Moses, we can't do it. We can't do it. We don't have the equipment to do it. It is what it is. And I want to tell you today that when bills are stacked high and income is low, some conclude that they there is no way out and give up in frustration. Don't ever give up in frustration. Don't ever give up. Where there's a will, there's a way. Don't, don't ever give up. As long as God is on the table, on the throne, don't ever give up on nothing. As long as you've got breath in your heart, you keep on pushing, you keep on working, you keep on looking, you keep on trying. Wherever there is a will, I don't care what's going on in the world today. I don't care how this, this economy and the, uh, uh, the, this, this inflation, inflation is flying high. God don't care about no inflation. God can bless you right in the middle of an inflation. He can bless you right in the middle of a drought. Anybody know that God is able to do above and beyond anything you can think or imagine? Don't give yourself. It is what it is. Uh -uh. No, not with the God that I serve. It is. Uh -uh. That's not what it's going to be. It's not going to be what it is. Because God going to change that. He can change it whenever he gets ready. In other words, God is the one that does all of the changing and make things different. But we got to keep the faith. Because he has given us this faith. Many have doomed themselves. With an attitude about life that accepts defeat and failure and resolve to simply walk away, accept the failure, except I can't do it, except I can't learn it, except I can't comprehend it, and walk away and say, I can't do it because it is what it is. What it is. Yes. A man may be a drunk. Might be a deadbeat. He, he might not be no count at all. But that he will continue to be no count at all until he stands up and say within himself, enough 
is enough. And I'm going to walk out of here. And the man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Don't say what you can't do. But I don't see I can do. you're working with. God has all power. And he wants you to use what he has given you. Am I right about that? Our fears, our fears sees the worst and respond it is what it is. Our faith sees what it does not have to be. And our frustration sees the downside of a situation and respond it is what it is. Our faith sees opportunities in a troubling situation and respond, it is what it is, but it won't be that way long. Because my faith is going to change some of this stuff. Am I right about that? You just speak it within yourself. Start speaking prosperity. Speak things into existence. Speak things that are not as if they were. Start walking out on what God has blessed you. You already got it in you. That Paul told Timothy, it already, already in you. Just start walking in it. Start speaking in it. Because God had already given it to you. He didn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power and a sound mind. I know I can be walking like I might have gold money. Walking up in this pool. But I am more than a gold mine through Christ that strengthened me. God is the way maker. God is the way out. God will do it. Am I right about that? Yes. What is? No one should ignore what is. That would be irresponsible. However, we don't have to accept is. You hear me again? Let me say it again. You don't have to accept what is the great benefit of the faith in life is to change what is unto it was. In other words, you change what is unto it it was. In other words, we can do that. You can do that to what it was. In other words, we learn how to do these things. It's for a whole family to stop saying. That's just the way we are. And start saying that's the way we work. I was fooled at one time. In other words, I was blind at one time. I was lost at one time. But now I see. I know that God loves me. I know He can provide out of the way. We have learned this truth as we encounter physical sickness and death. There are others that have experienced strained relationships. These are believers who will quickly testify that things change when the I am God steps into the picture. Yes. Things change when you call on the holy and righteous God into your situation. Whatever you are going through, just like the Sunday school lesson this morning, when we bring light into our life. Jesus is light. His word is light. And he wants us to use his word to navigate our way through life. Use his word when you're going through life. Use his word to refute the devil. Use his word and bring on prosperity. Look in the mirror and say, I am more than a conqueror. Understand who you are. Speak things that are not as if they were. And watch what God will do for you. He will open up doors that are closed in your face. He will do the undone. He will change things. There are others that have experienced strained relationships. They are those who believe who will quickly testify 
that changes, change uh, things. When I am, God steps in. When God steps in, things change. It's no more it is what it is. Financial trouble is what it is. God say that I am the answer. Sickness is what it is. God says, I am the healer. I am Jehovah Rock. I am your healer. Confusion and frustration is what it is. We need direction. God says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Am I right about that? God is the way he changed things. God is the I am, and watch how things will change in your life. More than what is. Finally, brothers and my sisters, we must consider that the promise of the Savior goes further than what it is. Our God is a God of the past, of the moment, a God of the future. They that we as believers should not just be dismayed. We as believers should not get distraught or dismayed when issues and problems come in our lives. I know, I know sickness and death will shake us up for a little bit, but do not get dismayed in these things because God said these things will come because we are not put here to stay. We are here to go through trials and tribulations, ups and, and down, because this is not our home. We are getting prepared to go to our home. Am I right about that? Yes. Now don't get this baby, don't get disillusioned because the God we serve is able to do above and beyond anything we can think or imagine. In other words, despise something. What was at the moment? However, Joshua and Caleb saw what could happen when God stepped in. The spies saw the wall of Jericho, but the faithful saw these walls of Jericho come tumbling down. In other words, the spies saw the shortness of the daylight hour that you won't have time to fight. But the faithful saw the sun standing still to win the battle. Am I right about that? Am I right about that? Won't God do it? Won't he make a way? The spies saw the big men, the big people, the giants, but the faithful saw how hard those big people would fall down because God is in it. Don't be afraid to move to the next level of your life because on that next level is a devil. But don't be afraid because the God we serve is above the devil. He can get you through whatever you're going through. Am I right about that? Yes, yes, there may be a red sea in your life. But the God we serve know how to split that red sea and push those waters aside. That you can walk on dry land. It not have to be it is what it is. God can change these things. Am I right about it? Yes, you would have had a tough time making ends meet. It is what it is, but it, if we can just trust Him, God can make a way out of nowhere. He can do the undone. Am I right about that? This, 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 the story is told about this church that, 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 that gave the members that they could complain if they wanted. And so a few of the members, they stood up, stood up and complained. They went to one and asked him, what are you complaining about? And this one said, I'm complaining about the choir. The choir sang the same old song every Sunday. Then they went to the next one. What's your complaint? My complaint is about the deep. These old deacons pray the same old prayer every Sunday. 
Then they went to the preacher. Another man asked him about it. Well, I'm not complaining about the preacher. What the preacher do? Well, he preached the same old sermon. Every Sunday. Now, they went to this old lady, the mother of the church. She was sitting on the front seat. And they said, man, what's your complaint? She said, I'm like the songwriter. I, I won't complain. I, I, I won't complain about the choir for what they're saying because it is what it is. But the Lord I serve gave me a song that even the angels can't say. Because the way they pray, it is what it is. But she said, prayer changes things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not going to complain about the preacher that preach about the same God every Sunday. Yeah. The same God yeah. that wakes me up every morning. Yeah. The same God that starts me on my way. He got me clothed in the right mind. I'm not going to complain about that. And I'm right about that. I'm not going to complain what God is doing because I know what he has done for me and what he is for me. And I know that those who may not believe, but I have found that God is. God is. Yeah, I know the old folks say, I mean, the old some folks say it is what it is, but I want to tell you what God is. God is my, is my way man. God is my joke. God is my friend when I don't have a friend. God is my healer. He's my doctor. He is my secret. Tomorrow, you got some problems, you got 
to face tomorrow, but when you get up in the morning, after you done talked to God all night in the morning, uh, everything just seems to just float right on through. Won't he do? You are happy. Won't he do it? Won't he make a way?
if I don't see you no more, hopefully I'll see you next Sunday at the same time, same place, St. John Missionary Baptist Church. And I'm going to be here if it's the Lord's will. It is what it is. If it's his will, I'll be here. And I'll see you next week. And as the young folks say, peace. God love you. I love you. But God loves you best. See you.